Hello and welcome to learn system view in five minutes. This is tutorial seven and in this tutorial we'll talk about how to do vector modulation analysis. Now recall in tutorial six we built our QPSK modulator and we had this spectrum analyzer sync to look at this spectrum. But by just looking at the spectrum we don't know how good or how bad is our modulator performance. In order to check modulator performance, there are two real-time DMOD analysis which you could use in system view. So if you look inside the SYNCs uh, category and algorithm design, we looked at few of these SYNCs. One of the SYNC to be used here is called digital DMOD. And once we place it um, onto our schematic design, we can look at some of the parameters. But let's go ahead and wire it up first. Now under this digital DMOD settings, we could define the symbol rate. For our uh, system design right now, our symbol rate is five megahertz because the bit rate is 10 megahertz. You could uh, define the result length, how many symbols would you like to average and calculate the type of modulation. So there are a variety of modulation formats supported, PPSK, QPSK and so on. We can set the, the reference receiver criteria uh, for example, here we'll set up measurement filter as root trace cosine, reference as race cosine. The alpha uh, factor or the role of factor we used in our transmitter is 0.35. And from continuation mode, uh, we can set it to yes so that it keeps on running on a continu continuous mode, something like how our instruments run. Once we have this basic setup, and if we start simulation, Notice a window pops up and if our receiver settings are correct, we would be able to see the constellation, eye diagram, the magnitude error per symbol, as well as EVM in every symbol. The table here shows you a snapshot of the results as they are getting calculated. So we can pause the, the analysis and have a closer look at some of these results. So we can notice the EVM is 0.8% RMS, which is pretty decent. We have IQ offset of minus 70 dB, which is also pretty good, referring and uh, indicating that our modulator design right now is pretty ideal in nature. Now notice as continuous mode is on, this measurement will keep on running unless we go back to system view and we say stop simulation. Once we do that, the modulation stops. So this is one of the ways we can use this digital and DMOD capability in a you know, system view. Now, while we had all the results in our modulator design, but if you look at our data set, we also have similar data inside our data set. So we can look at you know EVM peak, EVM RMS, and so on and so forth. Uh, now, in case we don't need uh, to have a, a real-time display, we can always set the continuous time mode to no, and we can save our symbol results to yes. So by doing this, when we run analysis, analysis will finish for the duration we have set in the, in the simulation controller. But at the same time, we have all the results as needed in our data set. Now, the results here, uh, could be plotted on a table. So for example, if I want to plot this DVM RMS in a table, I can right click, select add to table and declare a new table. So notice in our tree, we have a table here. Now we can rename this our, this table to QPSK mod, say quality. Now once our table is being named by some you know, proper identification. We can look at this data set and we can we can pass on whatever information we want by right clicking to add to table. And instead of adding a new table, we can just keep on adding the data in that particular table here. Now we can tile the window again. And now from here, we could pick whatever information we need and we can keep on adding that to the table we want. So this way, the complete modulation analysis can be done using the built-in tool of system view itself. We don't need any extra software or any other capability to perform the quality checking of our modulator. Now, just for the last example, I'm going to add few distortion in the signal. So I'll go to modulator 
and in the I and Q impairments, I will switch on this I and Q impairments and I will introduce 2 dB of gain imbalance and 10 degree of phase imbalance. Just to illustrate, in case we want to have an imperfect design um, to be implemented, we can do all those controls by some of these blocks. Now, when we go ahead and run simulation, notice the EVM gets distorted to 14 and all the magnitude error and gain imbalance. So we introduce gain imbalance of 2 dB and it's been calculated as 1.97. Again, very accurate representation that our analysis engine is pretty accurate as well as the distortion which we introduce in any of these blocks gets added very, very accurately. Well, that's all for this video. Hope you like the video. See you in the next video. Thanks very much.